Hey there guys and welcome back to Tech Easily. So today's video is going to be a really interesting one. I'm going to be teaching you guys some techniques on how to implement search engine optimizations into your websites in HTML. I'm going to be going through some tags that you guys can use along with some simple tips and tricks that can prove to be really beneficial when you want to optimize search engine ranking. So this whole topic on search engine optimization, it's actually a really essential part of making websites in today's world because there's so much competition and you want to drive as much traffic as you can to your websites. And the main method that people come across your website is through search engines. So by searching through search engines like Google and Bing, you want your website to be at the top. So knowing these simple little things is so useful and it's so easy and simple to do. You guys will actually be surprised. So if you're interested in seeing how to do this, then please keep on watching. Okay guys, so whenever search engine optimization is talked about, meta tags are always mentioned. So what are meta tags? I've made a little presentation slide and I'm gonna walk you through what they are and which ones we are actually going to be using in this video. So meta tags are chunks of code that inform search engines, popular ones like Google and Bing. They tell them about the content of your web pages. So that's essentially what they do. And some of the most important meta tags that we are going to cover in this video, and I will be coding them with you in a little while, include charset, viewport, description, and keywords. Now keywords is a controversial one and we'll go through that in a second, but the other one, most important one we're going to use is title, and that's actually not a meta tag, but we'll go through that one as well. And an important thing to note is that there are many other meta tags out there, but not all of them are useful and important. I'm just going through the really essential ones that will really help you in search engine optimization. So now that that's out of the way, let's start to code. Okay guys, so let's go ahead and code all of this. And like always, I'll be using Notepad and this is the basic HTML file structure. I've gone through all of this in my beginner's HTML series. I leave a link in the description box down below if you want to check those out before this video. But basically this is what a basic file structure looks like in HTML and the first tag I'm going to be talking about is the title tag. And this it plays a really really important role in search engine optimization. Some people say it's probably the most important but they, that's arguable. Now what I'm going to do is inside my head, I'm going to put the title tag. And again, I've talked about this a lot in my series for beginners. I've gone through it in a lot of detail. And this is not a meta tag, like I mentioned, but it's, it's really, really important you do put this in. But whatever you guys do, just do not leave this title out. It's so simple and easy to do, yet it makes such a huge difference. Okay, so next let's talk about the meta tags. And let's talk about one of the most important meta tags, which is the one for description. So again, this will go inside of your head. And let's open up this meta tag. And this is one of those that does not have a closing tag. so. It just ends like this. Now, so let's put in the name is equal to description. And later on, this is where we change uh, the meta tag. So the name could be equal to viewport. And I'll show you all those um, in a little while. And then we have an attribute called content. And again, we're going to equal that to the description of our website. Now one important thing is that the maximum amount of characters that can go inside this tag is 160. So please keep that in mind. So for example, I could say something like 
this website gives recipes on how to bake desserts. Again, just like the title, you want this to be unique and you should use sentence case. And it's really good practice to actually include a meta description for every page that you have on your website. And it's really important that you don't duplicate them. So no two same um, across your web pages. And a really good tip here is that the sentence you have for your content here, it should be made up of as many keywords as you possibly can think about to describe what your website is exactly about. So what you don't want to do is use really common words that show up on all the websites and that will decrease your chances of getting um, onto the first page or higher up in the results. But at the same time, you don't want to put in things that are not relevant to your uh, website or your web pages. Now there used to be a meta, there is a meta tag for keywords, but I'll talk about that in a second and it's not really used anymore. So you do want to give some time and effort into this and include as many keywords as you can in this sentence here. So another meta tag that is really, you should be using in your websites is the one for char set. So again, I'm going to open this up and close it. And you have probably seen this as well. Um, if you've coded in HTML, if you see char set is equal to UTF-8, this basically just describes the type of characters that are being used inside of our website. And if you're using anything above HTML4, like HTML5, then this is the one that you will be using. There's a different one you can use for previous versions, but I'm not going to go into that. But this is something that is important and you should be including this inside of your web pages. So another meta tag I'm going to talk to you guys about is the one for the viewport. And this is really important because it makes your website responsive. So for example, if you have any code in your CSS files, that's going to help you achieve that. Then you need to put this viewport in. So let's go ahead and similarly like before, create a meta tag inside the name. I'm going to this time put in viewport and then inside the content, I'm going to say width is equal to device dash width comma initial dash scale is equal to one and I'm actually not going to go through that that can be a video for another day but you do want to include this meta tag in that's what we're talking about because it indicates to the search engine whether your website is mobile friendly or not. And in today's world where most of your traffic is actually coming from phone um, instead of desktop. So you do want to make sure that your website is responsive and it does scale up and down according to the device. And it definitely does help in search engine optimization as well. Okay guys, so there is another one that is actually author. So you would have something like meta and then name is equal to author. And then inside the content, you would put your name in, but that doesn't really help in search engine optimization. So I'm not going to put that in. And now the one about keywords. Now this used to be used and it did help in search engine optimization. However, it's not useful anymore and popular search engines like Google, they have stopped using it since 2009. And one of the main reasons was that people were actually spamming. So you would have name is equal to keywords and then inside the content, you would separate the keywords with a comma and keep on adding them relevant to your website. But people were spamming this with even irrelevant words that weren't actually in their website as well. So it's actually no longer 
used for search engine optimization that much. I would not include it in. I haven't included it in my websites that I've created. And it's basically up to you guys if you do want to put that in. Some might still use it, but most important ones or most popular ones don't really use it. And some attributes, I'm going to go through this really quickly. Um, some attributes that can help in search engine optimization. So for example, the image. And then you have source is equal to whatever um, the name of the image and where you can locate it. And like I showed you guys in my how to add an image into a HTML web page video, um, there is an attribute called alt. And these help search engines associate images with the web page's content. And it's really, really useful to actually put this in. So I would suggest anywhere you have an image and you do have an alt and you describe that image. And that does definitely help in search engine optimization as well. But for now, for this video, I think I've covered all the basics and all the tips and tricks that you can use to optimize your website in HTML for search engine optimization. So that's it for today's video, you guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video on how what techniques to use to achieve search engine optimization in HTML. Now these were the basic and probably the most important ones that you can use that are out there to achieve this. And I really hope that you guys found it interesting, followed along easily, and I really, really do hope it helps you guys in some sort of way. So until we code again, Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and please leave any suggestions or questions that you guys have in the comment section down below and I will try and get to them as quick as I can. And also please don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you guys enjoyed it and I will see you all in my next video.